Back to our story, though. Back to our story, though. What's up, guys? Thanks for clicking on my video. I actually filmed this quite a while ago, and I lost the footage from before this, so I actually don't know what I was talking about there. Anyway, this is my first scope review, and I'd like to thank FX USA. They sent me out this scope and allowed me to keep it, which is good because I could use some scopes around here. I got a lot of guns and not a lot of scopes. But the thing I'm actually really excited about is I got some FX No Limit scope rings, so now if I'm having a problem shooting at 100 yards or, I don't know, 600 yards, 1,000 yards, I'll just adjust my scope rings and we'll be in business. So real quick, I'm just going to go through the description, hardcore stats on this bad boy. I'll show you guys, I've been making these air gun videos on my own dime for a long, long time. And it's great that a lot of these companies are finally stepping up and picking up the slack. It's really refreshing to have a company like FX USA that actually returns my emails. And not only that, but says, yes, yeah, sure, we'd be happy to help you out after they took a look at my channel. So a lot of these people that I contact totally ignore me. One of the worst offenders is Pyramid Air. I've been trying to crack that nut for like a year and no matter what I do, I mean, I want to thank you guys for clicking on those affiliate links when you buy something through Pyramid Air and you click through an affiliate link, including if you buy one of these Element Scopes, I'll get 5% of the sale. So my videos bring in about 5000 a month for Pyramid Air, about 200 to 250 for me, which allows me to keep doing an Airgun channel, but those guys will not give me the time of day, so... It's just unfortunate because they could be sending out some cool guns for us to review and then I could send them back and they could just throw them in their refurbished section. So maybe someday that'll happen. Fortunately, we have companies like FX USA though that are willing to work with me. Here we go with an Element Optics Helix Scope Review. First focal plane. Before we start though, I'm just going to tell you off the top of my head what I know about these scopes. These Helix scopes were developed with Matt Dubber. He is a well-known YouTuber, but more importantly, he's a very skilled shooter. He really knows his stuff about bullet drop, windage, ballistics, all that stuff. So I would say he's a gifted marksman, and he helped design this reticle, and it was designed with air gunners in mind. The thing I noticed right off is you got this giant bullet drop zone right here. So that's awesome. I mean, so with no adjustments or anything, you could probably shoot for very long distances. And I'm not a real technical guy on the shooting and windage thing, but of course you got your windage adjustments. And we'll find out before the end of this video what all these other squiggly lines are as well. So they were trying to fit the most features they could into this price point. Okay, and they did a great job. So Matt is looking at clearness of the glass, function, um, of the turrets and all the internal parts. One thing that I saw on Matt's video was he was saying that it's easy to make a scope that looks good on the outside for a certain price point, but having the internal components be quality, a good foundation, is not so easy. So that's what they were worried about. They made sure that this was a super quality scope, good foundation, and I think the scope looks fine, but I guess the cosmetics were the last thing they were worried about. Real quick guys, we'll do the description, hardcore stats, and then we'll shoot this a little bit. I'm going to be shooting it on a 25 caliber FX Compact. These things are super awesome. A lot of power and accuracy in a small package right here. You can get these scopes at Pyramid Air, Utah Air Guns, pretty much anywhere. The Helix is a 6 to 24 power, 50 millimeter lens, 30 millimeter tube, available with MOA or MRAD reticle. We're looking at the MOA one today, first focal plane. Second focal plane of this scope is available for $399. And the one we're looking at today, first focal plane, is $479. So here's a description from the Element Optics website. It says, we've designed the Helix in a way that puts the important things first. Clear glass, smart reticles, innovative features, and a turret system superior to other products in the same price class. The turret system has been upgraded from your stock standard sporting optic to feature stainless steel internals for resistance against wear and tear when dialing regularly, something that modern shooting disciplines require. The tool-free turrets and zero-stop mechanism give you high-end features without breaking the bank. 
and the first focal plane reticle ensures precise reticle calibration at all magnifications. We've introduced quality control checks to give you peace of mind when taking that 1,000 yard shot. And if something goes wrong, our Platinum Lifetime Warranty has you covered. Cool. Sounds good to me. So this compact, lightweight, has a first focal plane reticle, aircraft grade aluminum, side parallax 10 yards to infinity, fully multi-coated lenses, tool-free resettable turrets with 6 AMRAD or 15 MOA per revolution, hard mechanical zero stop, removable magnification throw lever, Waterproof, fog-proof, shock-proof, and nitrogen purged. Sunshade, lens, cloth, and rubber lens cap included. Some of the specs for you more technical guys. Eye relief is 3.7 to 4 inches. Field of view at 100 yards is 18.3 feet. Click value is 1 quarter MOA or 1 tenth MRAD. Elevation adjustment range, 65 MOA or 18.9 MRAD. Windage adjustment range 40 MOA or 11.6 MRAD. Minimum parallax 10 yards to infinity. It's 14.3 inches long and it weighs 26 ounces or 737 grams. Very nice. Here's some shooting I did with a 22 caliber Cayman X from Utah Air Guns. 64 yards. I'd say we're sighted in, you guys. All right, you guys, it's just as uh, windy out, but I brought my wind flag in. I'm gonna try and nail this guy in the head. Oh, can you believe that, you guys? Windstorm, 61 yards. A little holdover, you guys. Those freaking guys don't stand a chance. 61 yards, extreme wind. Right here, some shooting I did at 35 yards with the Dreamlight Compact 25. Quite a gun. Oh, I slipped on the trigger. More like it. You'll probably be seeing this scope a lot on my channel. It's easy to shoot with and it works good with my scope camera. So I'm definitely going to be using it. If I ever find that bell, it's going to be messed up. See that? I saw that thing go right past. Target acquired. <laughs> now guys, let's see if I can get this game piece off of the dice's head, which is on the dog head. Yeah, now that's a trick shot, you guys. Some major trick shottery. Oh, <laughs> that was so sick. And of course, I don't shoot dogs. So, he will live. I don't shoot baby lambs. I do shoot dice. Get rid of this motorcycle though. I'm gonna hit him right in the handlebars. Uh, let's hit him in the hit him in the wheel. You guys, that's reliability, the reliability of an FX air gun. I'm not just saying that. Okay, it's about not having flyers and knowing where your pellet's gonna go and being able to count on that. What you need for hunting, you guys. 
Shouldn't be out there hunting with a gun without a regulator. My dog out of the way. All right, you guys, I'm gonna shoot this guy in the ear. His ear's like the size of a 22 caliber pellet. Guys, in most of my videos, I've been using these new 18 grain FX pellets, and they've been pretty much beating out the uh, JSBs. This video, I got to 25 caliber FX pellets, and those are shooting excellent. Check out what they did to this penny right here. I actually shot that penny into four pieces with a 25 caliber FX pellet at 35 yards. Pretty crazy, huh? Here's what happened to that car, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> okay. And a lot of you guys saw my Steyr LG110 video, which is one of the guns that I've been hiding away in the closet. Holding that on you guys. And here's another one. You ready for this? This right here, you guys, is one of my most prized possessions. It's my FX Boss Field Target Edition. And I got this brand new a few months after they discontinued them. Right before they sold out, I got this bad boy. So if you guys don't know, the Boss is uh, their dedicated 30 caliber. And the FX Boss still wins competitions, even in 2021, so whoop. So guys, very soon I'll be busting this out and making a, making a video. Who knows what we'll do with this gun. It's gonna be around for a long time, so I'm sure we're gonna do a lot. At elementoptics.com. If you click on reticles, it's going to show you the reticles for all the different scopes. The helix, it looks like the second focal plane, that's 399. You have the same magnification and stats pretty much, but you have different reticles, a little more simple. But then it shows side by side when the first focal plane, that's for the serious shooter, where you get the really technical reticle. The APR 2D, D stands for dirty. So in the second focal plane, 399 scope, the EHR was designed by Ted. So he had some input on that if you want to get a scope that Ted made. As promised, you guys, we're going to go over all these squiggly lines right now. And I'll tell you what they mean, working up from the simplest reticle to the most complicated. On the EHR-1C designed by Ted, I guess it's a floating design with a floating center cross, four MOA hollow circles, two MOA large hash, one MOA small hash right there. So you can use those two to measure. And then a numbered holdover indicator. That's telling you how many notches down you are. G is center guides. And it's non-illuminated. Very cool. It says the EHR stands for expedient hold reticle. And it's designed to be intuitive on the eye and brain without losing functionality. The EHR-1C is the clean or simplified version with no holdover dots off the vertical axis. So the second focal plane helix is also available with an MRAD reticle. And that's called the APR-1C. It's got a floating center dot for your crosshair. Again, it's got the free floating reticle holdover number indicators. And these lines right here are a one tenth mil scale. So you can use that for range finding. In addition, we got one mil hash lines and 0.5 mil hash lines, non illuminated. So that's it on the second focal plane. Again, these sell for $3.99. All right, on the APR 2D. So you guys, there's not much price difference between the second focal plane and first focal plane. So it may just be a matter of what you prefer. So the MOA APR2D reticle that we're checking out today is gonna to have a center dot. The main groups of squiggly lines right here are a 1 4th MOA scale. Now the distance between this long and short hash mark is one MOA. So that's a one MOA hash line. The distance between the two big marks is two MOA. So that's two MOA hash lines. These markings, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, those are spaced four MOA apart. If you look down, these dots right here are actually four MOA holdover dots. 
So those are spaced four MOA apart. And these dots that are closer together, those are one MOA holdover dots. So those are spaced one MOA apart. Of course, you have your numbered holdover indicators, and that's MOA. So it also comes in an MRAD version. With the MRAD version, you got your center dot, crosshair. Your main group of squiggly lines is a one-tenth mil scale. The little tiny space between the small hash marks are 0.2 mil hash lines. The space between the two large marks is a one mil hash lines. These dots right here are 0.2 mil holdover dots. The dots with larger space in between are 0.5 mil holdover dots. Of course, you've got your holdover indicators and horizontally there are 0.5 mil markers. So whatever you prefer, there you go. So I think I've told you about all I can about the scope. If you want a really in-depth review and maybe some better testing, you can go over to Cyclops video. Joe over there is really the go-to guy for scope reviews. This guy really knows his stuff. And if you're ever serious about buying any scope, you go to his channel and he will have a review of it. So definitely check out that. I might even be doing some videos with Joe in the future. I've talked with Joe a few times through the forums and over email in the past few years, and he's a super cool dude. So I'm going to link actually in the description to his review of this scope, so you can check it out. Helix, first focal plane, 6 to 24 by 50. There will also be a link to... What is the second most important thing when it comes to sending lead downrange accurately? Yep, it's the optic. Matt Dubber's review of this scope, and once again, he'll tell you a whole other set of things about it. How to mount a rifle scope. Now, I know this seems like a no-brainer for many people, but we're going to run through it anyway. So be sure and check those out. Hey, everybody. Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Now, I did enjoy editing this video because it kind of reminded me of the old days of Airgun Channel when it used to be all about slow motion video and shooting things off people's heads. In the past year or so, I've gotten pretty serious about the checklist as far as getting all the bases covered in these air... So between my official checklist and my busy schedule, seems like some of the funnest parts of Airgun Channel may have got left behind recently. Why so serious? So I'm going to do my best to bring those back and we'll definitely have some more dice off the head shooting sessions. Definitely a lot of fun. I want to thank FX Airguns USA for sending all this out. And I really enjoyed shooting the Dreamlight 25 caliber again. Anyone who's thinking about spending a thousand dollars on a thousand dollar gun, throw in another two or three hundred bucks, get yourself a dream light. Seriously. All right, you guys, so that's it for me on this one. Thanks again for watching. We're gonna have more scope reviews coming at you, and I got all the best guns lined up, you guys. I'm gonna be getting some of these air guns right when they come out or even before, so just go ahead and subscribe, and uh, we'll have some good stuff for you, including. Delta Wolf, 22, lined up. Argus 60, in my mailbox. You guys ever heard of a Cricket? Well, guess what? There's one called the Cricket 2 coming out in May in the USA. We're going to have that coming at you. Probably a Staya. So, yeah, you guys, it's going to be getting real good over here on Airgun Channel. So, once again, thanks for watching, you guys. Everybody stay safe out there. Happy shooting. We'll catch you on the next one. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Yeah? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, guys, that was homeboy Roy down here. And he said that he wants me to shoot him in the face if I can. Okay. <laughs> no problem, bro. Because I already know his head won't come off. I've already tried to shoot it off before. Here we go.